In this video, we're going to build the scariest spider farm that Minecraft has ever seen. Let's get into it. Welcome back to J World, everybody. In the last episode, we built a scout vehicle as our starter base. While I was running around collecting resources, I discovered this spot right here. Bam! Spider spawner on the surface. Bam! There's two of them. We have two spider spawners on the surface of our world. So I wanna turn these into a double spider farm, but not just a boring normal farm like you've seen a million times. You dig out a couple blocks around it, you dig out a couple blocks below it, you funnel all the spiders down, you boop them on the head. <coughs> I wanna build something epic. I want to build a spider farm that just absolutely terrifies people. I want it to be the thing that nightmares are made out of. But how do we do that? Well, I can tell you that first of all, this is not gonna cut it. <laughs> I have no boots, no helmet, and garbage for tools. The first thing we need to do is get ourselves a little bit of better tools. Now, the other issue that we have is this right here. Let's see, I got 10 chicken, I got 12 mutton. Yeah, one potato that I got when I killed the zombies. Oh, more, yes, and you. Ooh, potato, ah! So the potato's probably even nasty and I shouldn't even eat it, but we're gonna plant it anyway. The way we're going to accomplish all of these goals is gonna be with this thing. Bam, me? this guy. Put a name down in the comments for, for this guy. And when we have name tags, we'll name him, which we'll do for the camel too. I just, I still don't have name tag. Bro, get out. What are you doing? Chill. Check it out. This guy is going to trade us sticks. Does he give a better trade? Like half a stack, bro. Get back here. Give me better prices than 30 to 32. Okay. 32 it is. So we got five emeralds, five emeralds off of him. Yeah. This is going to take a while. Now that we have a couple emeralds, we need this guy. Okay, that's, oh no. You, die. Leave my villagers alone. We're almost there, guys. We got an efficiency three axe, which is not amazing, but we should only have to buy a couple of them in order to get him all the way, which will then give us, hello? Which which will then give us a pickaxe, which is what we needed. We are also getting very far with our farmer guy and um, I, we, we have food technically, but the goal with this guy though is right here, golden carrots. Not enough to get by, but it's a start. Sir, are you unlocked? Oh, he's unlocked, but I think, yeah, I'm I'm out of emeralds. Okay, one more. I nope. Th dang it, he's locked down. Okay, I think we're ready. Nope. I have been waiting forever for this dude to drop his prices on his axe so I could get to the pickaxe and I realized, like, I could just do this and that, that should get him. Come on, bro. Be good, be good, be good. Wait, a s <gasps> I did the wrong guy this whole time. I wasted so much time. I'm such an idiot. Emotional, damn it. Okay, one more thing, and he should unlock efficiency to diamond pickaxe. That was so much work. If you've been wondering what I've been doing with everything, it's this, yep, and I know it's gonna hurt some of your feelings, especially because these axes have fortune two, which is pretty amazing. I'm on my way back to the scout and uh, I, I found this guy. Like this is perfect, you guys. We can bring him back, we can trap him, we convert him into a Fletcher and then he's already gonna be in the area to sell all of our string to him after we finish the farm. I have like, Literally everything. So I have a bunch of tools now and a bunch of food, sort of. We're, I mean, we're gonna be eating cookies for a while, but you know, it's food. Now I just gotta 
slowly drag this guy back to my base. Oh, which is this way. Come on, Jerry, we're almost there. That's gonna be your new home, Jerry. Well, you're gonna rent it out for like, however long it takes me to build the spider farm. And there we go, Jerry is now trapped. Oh yeah. So here's what I'm thinking for this massive farm. I want to build a gigantic cave spider coming out of the side of the mountain. It's pretty terrifying just to have a giant spider, but that's not enough. What's more terrifying is a giant spider that literally spits poisonous baby spiders from its mouth. That's what we need to accomplish here. We need to test that our funneling is working and um, this is 100% not done cause like, I promised you guys the things that nightmares are made out of with this farm and I mean, technically I delivered, right? This thing is, uh, I mean, it's ugly. Oh, we got visitors, nice. Just leave me alone, please. Okay, the spiders are spawning. We gotta go down here. Right here, this is temporary place. Oh my gosh, forgot my sword. So tired. Okay, so the spiders should be right here and I should be safe. Oh yes, look at that. Okay, let's turn down hostile creatures, turn that down. Okay, they can't get out. Oh, this is good. There we go. Oh, that's not good though, that, that spot. Okay, we just, we, we, hey, 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 easy. Yeah, they are all poisonous spiders. Why? Why? How? Oh, okay. This is mostly working, but here's the pro- uh, Here's the problem. <laughs> I need so much string. Now, in order to make this terrifying farm, we're going to need some iron. And we're going to need an ink farm. But you're probably sick of all these time lapses, so let's just do this. Bam! Ink farm. There we go. About 30 minutes AFK, combined with the help of a couple more hoppers, and our little ink farm is working pretty spectacularly. In order to build our terrifying spider, we're going to need black wool, created from the string I collected at the spider farm, which has been successful, but not fast enough, so I may or may not have used a duplication glitch in order to get an absolutely massive amount of wool really fast. A couple stacks of cobbled deep slate that we're gonna turn into deep slate tiles, and we're going to need some green terracotta. Now, if only I could figure out where to find terracotta so I can dye it green. In order to funnel the cave spiders out of the mouth of the build, we use an iron golem to bait them to the end of a channel where he kills them. That's not right. To get the spiders out the front of the giant spider, we use an iron golem to lure... Dang it. The iron golem lures the baby spiders to the front of the... No! Ah. Okay, we are on version like 562. I figured it out. If I can trap a spider right here, he will constantly lock onto this spider if it's name tagged. I just have to get one to be in there is the problem. And, uh, and also not dying would be great. Okay, there he is, there he is. Come and get me. Come on, buddy. Yeah, come on, come and get me. I'm right here. Okay, not good. Not not working. Not 
not doing what I want. <gasps> okay, he's in. Now I, I, bam. He should be trapped. Name, name tag him. Oh no, don't open the door. Hexavius, get back in there. I don't have a lot of name tags. I don't even know if I have another one. Ow, hey, sir, please. This is a very sensitive moment. Okay, hold up, ready? One, okay. Yes, okay, and there. That works? Which, which one is Hexavius? Oh no, he's that one, crap. Okay, he's trapped. Hexavius is trapped, but I don't know that our dude can see him. He's not very concerned with him right now. Look, bro, I'm right here. Yes, yes, come and get me, okay. And then, if I do this, and put here, I think I've done it. I think I've done it. Yes, yes, he's looking at him. He's looking at him, okay. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. This spider farm truly is unique and I had such an incredible time building it and it looks so amazing. I really wanted it to look like the cave spiders from Minecraft look with all the green and dark colors all around them. I also wanted to show you what the spider journey goes through for this farm. He sees the first iron golem, he shoots up the water column, he comes out on the top, he sees the next iron golem, and he starts down the way, jumping at the iron golem, landing down into the area where I'm standing, where, well, you know the rest. And with the small containment center built up, we should be in a place where the spiders are landing. Oh no, oh no, okay, uh, yeah. Uh, we need to adjust the containment center. We need to adjust the containment center. Ho 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 ho, I think I've done it. Uh, we do have one problem though. <laughs> so, as long as I'm in this area, they will spawn and they will come out and they drop in and for the most part they go down. But if it gets backed up at all, they start overflowing and just going everywhere. So I think I might need to make like a little safety chamber just in case. And I haven't added hoppers to pick up the drops yet either. This video did take me a really long time to make. So if you liked it, please, I would appreciate it so much if you shared it with your friend. If you didn't already see it, I would love to have you check out this video where I played one block, lucky block, with marmalade. I really think you'll enjoy it. That's going to do it for today though, guys. I'm Animus J, and I'll see you next time. I built the scariest spider farm in Minecraft. I only died two times. You gotta be kidding me. I'm a freaking pro.